Hello everyone, playing Grounded. Today I slept at the berry tree because I wanted to explore the tree. This is, I think, one of the more exciting things uh, that I did in uh, Grounded. Basically, it's a, it's, we call it tree, it's a bush, but for me, a tiny is a tree. Anyway, um, this is, this has many branches and you can actually explore it. And the idea is that you have kind of uh, berries uh, hanging out. You can just throw stones at them well down on the ground and you can hit them with the pickaxe and collect the materials however i thought there is more to it and i actually didn't read any spoilers before or nothing so whatever you see here came to me as a big big surprise now when i first came to the berry tea i didn't know that it's that complex i mean i spent some time there get some blueberry blueberries and i thought this is it i'm just gonna go there get some berries because i need some and then I went into the tree and figured out there's a kind of a path uh, when you walk on a small branch that leads you to another set of branches that allows you to explore uh, further on deep into the bush. Now the reason is kind of uh, misty and because it's morning uh, but soon as uh, the sun will rise and it's going to be more lit. And the other great thing about this uh, the other thing is going to leave it to you so we can see it in a moment. But one of the other great things about climbing this bush is that I provide you with a really nice view of the entire garden at some point. Uh, we'll see it uh, soon enough. And it's really nice uh, kind of uh, starting early in the morning because I knew I'm going to spend a lot of time there. So I didn't want to do it in the dark. It's not the same way we do it in the dark. On the way you can find some uh, small spiders. Nothing to worry about, especially if you are kind of uh, already have good armor and weapons, you can easily eliminate them. Look how beautiful this is designed, just so beautiful. This is a game in early access, imagine that, just gorgeous. The, fact, the game itself is just absolutely, looks absolutely amazing. But, and this design of making you like walk on the branch is just unbelievable. Anyway, um, this is the second time I repeat it. Uh, if you climb up uh, to the second leaf at the top, uh, yeah, I'm just playing around with a huh, walking on a berry. Uh, you're gonna find the chip there, so you can take it out. You won't see it here because I already took it and forgot to record it. So you can uh, just uh, pick it up. Uh, it's gonna be on this leaf on the right. Now, of course, my character complains. She's uh, angry and thirsty. But I brought plenty of things with me, so I was ready for this adventure. <laughs> adventure on the bush, <laughs> imagine. Uh, is it a tree, a bush? I don't know. For me, it's a tree. It's huge. So I'm climbing this one. Some of the branches are very, very small, so you need to walk on them kind of carefully. Because if you fall, you're gonna get hit, and if you fall for a, you know, a big height, you die. Uh, it's uh, of course better to uh, save the game in certain uh, key locations so just in case you fall down something bad happens uh, you can uh, just uh, restore or load uh, save game and continue from that point on now the reason I came back again is because I didn't have this thing that allows me to float so I tried to jump into that other leaf by the way this is the view that I was talking about just gorgeous and you see this thing that looks like a big pond, it's just some water from... <laughs> Unbelievable when you see it uh, in, a, in such a scale from a top-down view. Unbelievable. So I needed to jump um, on that uh, leaf in order to continue adventure. I actually thought this is the end. I didn't know that I actually can continue. However, there's a door down there below me, which I knew maybe there's something here because, come on, just a door. There's something here to explore furthermore. Um, so really I'm actually just saving the game just in case I'm gonna fall down again because I don't want to fall down. It happened to me once. Uh, so I knew this one is a bit uh, tricky. But, uh, but again, I brought my uh, thing that allows me to glide. So it wasn't hard at all. You're gonna see in a moment. Just change to it and when I jump and press shift, I'm just gonna glide. Well, th that wasn't the plan, but what's important is that I got there. Uh, uh. 
definitely one of the most beautiful games that I played for a long, long time, really. I think it's even underrated, I mean, I don't know, like... People should talk about this more, this game is just incredible. Here I'm still enjoying the view. The depth of field is really nice, kind of make you kind of feel small and increase immersion. And here, look at this, I get in and what is that? This one I didn't expect. So of course I was inside already, I'm going to show you how to get in. And this is a secret lab. I didn't, as at the time of making this video, I didn't connect, uh, just finish exploring it, which I'm going to do after I finish this video, but I wanted to share this with you uh, so you can see it. So look how beautiful it is. Look at the light. Look how amazing this one looks. So there are quite a few spiders there. This one is the biggest one. There's some inside. But of course, uh, with the mint uh, mallet I'm weapon, my giant hammer, if you can call it giant, I'm not afraid of anything, of course. And especially not this dude. I spent some time, I didn't know how to get in. I knew there's some something uh, that uh, is a way to get in. And there was a hint, uh, after you get to a certain point while uh, traversing through the rooftops of this uh, secret lab, uh, you're gonna see that uh, it says something. And this is a hint for you, so you know how to get in. You're gonna soon see it. So I continue walking and the, ga the game gives you a big hint. Uh, when you describe the zone which you are currently in, that you discovered. I was walking here. Edge lab bridge. Alright, bridge. This means there is a bridge, right? So there's a way to get in. What more do I need? So I was just searching for something. Maybe I can break this one. No. But then look at this. Something broken on the left side. And then I've seen it on the left side. There's an entrance there. You see this? There's an entrance, there's no window there, kind of a broken window. So what I did, uh, I knew that I need to glide and it's good that I had a glide thing with me. So all I need to do is just tap, glide, and I got in. Hooray! Of course, I saved the game immediately because I don't know if I'm kind of lucky getting in or maybe I needed several tries because it's a bit hard. So I saved the game and I continue playing. And then I was walking inside and trying to discover all the new things about uh, this place. And I'm still uh, inside trying to figure out things. But this is the secret lab. How beautiful it is. And with this, the music around, uh, the background music and everything. It's just beautiful. Look at this. And this is, by the way, on the highest uh, graphic settings, if you wonder. So the game ab looks absolutely amazing. So this is the secret lab in the game. Amazing. This is a small one, nothing to worry about. A little old beaver. And look how beautiful it is. I just couldn't imagine this being part of the game. When I first played the uh, close, close, was close beta, and I've had like five minutes to explore, I didn't expect things like this to be uh, like in the game. And this is early access, this get me excited even more. I have successfully shrunk a set of basic plastic polyhedral dice from the size of standard dice to no bigger than the size of, well, much smaller dice. Uh, Burgle, make a note to come up with a better comparison. Noting. Nonetheless, this is a complete exoneration. However, it occurs to me that I have a new problem. The dice were intended to be young Thor's Christmas present. He will be disappointed. But perhaps I can convince him that they were miniature dice. The tiny instructions might be a bit of a giveaway. A new solution may be required. To the fun pit toy mart before they close. So this is it. This is uh, me discovering the secret lab in the game Grounded by Obsidian Entertainment. I hope you enjoyed this one and find it uh, interesting. Uh, I'm continuing to playing. I'm going to share more uh, in upcoming videos. Consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. And I'll see you very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. Cheers. Stay safe.